I'm Brenna. I'm from Waverly. Wait, man, let's. Hey, hey, hey. And this is called Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> the year is 2002. Queen Elizabeth's funeral is held. Michael Jackson is winning awards. Avril Lavigne released an album. Okay, like this was. Okay. And silently in the back, Disney releases a movie about a little Hawaiian girl and her new pet dog. Now, at that time, I am three. I am learning to talk and being potty trained. I am not taken to go see a movie. In April of 2003, my mother dies. Me and my sister are quickly adopted by grandparents where we are given everything. Now, I'm not quite sure how I found it. Maybe my dad bought it when he saw the blue dog or I don't know, but either way, I'm given this movie. This movie where a young girl a little older than me has a best friend who is a doll, scares everyone away with her dark humor and whose parents are dead. But her and her sister live by their mantra, Lilo means lost in Hawaiian means become. Lilo becomes a lot of things in this movie. An orphan, a loner, her mother's prodigy, Lilo's sister becomes the parental figure she was lacking supports her creativity and never overtly tells her no, but gives reasons like, Lilo, we don't have a lobster door, we have a doggy door. <laughs> tells, the, tells her Stitch is a perfect name despite what the shelter worker says, is immediately freaked out by this new dog, but lets her keep it regardless. Not to mention by the end of the movie, she is 100% okay with having three aliens in her house. <laughs> Nani watches her little sister get taken by CPS and tries to fight him for custody. My s says no, she's all I have left. My sister and I never got along. <laughs> she once told me I was only adopted for sympathy and I believed her for 12 years. <laughs> once convinced me there was a demon under my bed that after 100 nights would kill me and I only had one night sleep left. Imagine my parents' horror when they found a goodbye letter on my bed, my suitcase packed with toys, and I had fallen asleep on the toilet. My sister also once made me watch an R-rated movie with her when I was six. She was 11, and I'm convinced that this is why I love horror movies. My sister left in 2013. She was 18. She moved back to our home state of Washington, where she lets me visit her. But the thing about Lilo and Stitch is, when I needed somewhere to turn, all of Jumba's experiments were with me. When I miss my mom, I can see myself in Lilo. When I feel overwhelmed, I can turn to Nani. I have found a family in the animations of them. Have seen all of the movies and episodes of this spinoff. But they never tell you what happens when Lilo grows up. They never tell you what happens, never hint at a future besides Stitch and finding all 625 experiments. The only hint is that this would mean leaving behind Nani. The worst part is, they tell you that Ohana means family, and family means never getting left behind or forgotten. What they don't tell you is, sometimes you will get left behind. They will wake you up when you know you will be groggy, not awake enough to remember the goodbye hug. Ohana may mean family, but sometimes family does leave you behind. But you'll never be forgotten. Family will never forget you. Ohana will never forget you.